an innocent woman jailed. It's barbaric. An officer must be just. Or else I mean, it all unravels. Belts go, it's Helen pretty. is right. But have more the than truth enough of lies them. Down there Folk in somewhere. Boston are not short of wolf. Belts. I suspect Deborah is at it again. You're a No Ferdinando here. Rebecca had a plan for herself and Ferdinando. Look for a store. Ready for another ride? Circumstances aside, this is quite romantic. Swarming hordes of spectres aren't to your liking. They are if I'm with you. mind. Not as romantic as you'd thought, eh? Maybe now's the time to ask you to marry me. Try it and I'll cut the rope. Beautiful view. Every morning I wake to a better one. You try to charm me, lady. I'll warn you. It should definitely work. Remains call for a ritual. 
and a lot of caution. Something's can see all. Something's nearby. Where is it? Blocked. I hope there's another way in. to mess with a banisher. Trust me, you don't want a garden. Vanishes. So you found your way. Sebastian, what are you doing here? Difficult though it be to walk these dark tunnels, I'll guide you as best I can. Thank you. When you're searching for the source of the wrath of the hordes of the dead, it's nice to bring a friend. I fear their anger justified. This place knows much tragedy. What shall we find down there? The rage of the Forsaken. They trusted him. He betrayed them. He abandoned them. I doubt they can be placated. Pennington did a great and terrible thing. Your death must feel like an outrage. I am a soldier. I took the shilling. Death is part of the bargain. One dies, so many may live. I served the sick and the dying. When my turn came, I was ready. But now, 
In the fort, there is no noble sacrifice. One dies, so all may also die. Tell us a little more about Helen. I'm not sure what more I could tell you. My wife is a strong woman. What you see is what you get. Every day I feel blessed to have a partner and best friend by my side. I had never expected her. When she came into my life, I came home to myself. <laughs> Made me want to be a better man. Oh, I know the feeling. She gave me a handkerchief. I died clutching it. A symbol of our love. She was and is ever in my thoughts. She is my world. Now until the end. We must press on. Stay close. Whenever you're ready. Not far now, till you find what you need. I hope. Pity. I was enjoying this wee promenade. I think you can get down from here. Everything all right? Let's just get this over with. Pennington ordered the barricades fast. I barely had time to bid Helen farewell. That must have been hard. A soldier is called to sacrifice. Just me, or I felt it too.
hearts of these soldiers were angry. Soldiers weren't spared. Those not taken by sickness or thirst died of despair. Which one took you? Despair. Most definitely. Huh? These tunnels go surprisingly deep. In its heyday, it was quite the operation. You see this lift? It goes all the way down. Cart upon cart rose to the surface, piled high with ore. What's over here? More tunnels blocked off. More death in the dark. The words of a ghost may resonate here. Miners abandoned their work when sickness hit. They worked till they could work no more.
Something wicked is tied to this. Words from the past linger here. I told Grey the tunnels were hellish hot. But Wilson says he can't do much about it. Keep feeding the furnace, says he, if you want your meager pay. <laughs> that sounds nasty. You all right? Wouldn't fancy working here with the furnace is running. The work men did here was meant to make New Eden rich. There's a strong spectral presence down there. A lot of us died down here. What the hell was that? Uh oh. Did we miss a few? <laughs> On your toes, Scotsman. Marcin left. Nice of you to join us, Sebastian. Care to explain what the hell we just heard? I... I can't. What now? Uh, I say we push past the blockade. Follow me, please. Enough powder to kill us all. Enough powder to kill you, you mean. Aye. Enough powder to kill me too.
You are gone, Comanche. What's this? A makeshift checkpoint. The halfway mark. Are they expecting to face a regiment? In a way. They knew we were dying and trying to fight. They had to keep them from infecting the rest. Charming. I can't blame a man for wanting to make it home alive. Why would Pennington cut off the food? He decided we weren't worth saving. Damn him to hell for it. Reason enough for a spectre to rage. Press on. The living quarters are ahead, if you insist. Rule, Sebastian. Yours? I regret the necessity. You said you were a bystander, yet you wrote reports to Pennington? I hoped if, if you knew what was happening, he'd do something. Play games as we wait to die. This isn't over yet. Back down to hell!
This miner was shot. Was there a mutiny? There was. We failed. Why did you not mention this before? My heartfelt apologies. I suppose the memory was just too painful. This is no ordinary spectre, that's for sure. Perhaps in our pain, screaming to be free, we made change. More importantly, how do we break them? I see a weak link. Red, I see a weakness. Let me show you. Red, look at this. I sense the fragment of a ghost's voice. What does that mark mean? I've seen it in books. Necromancy. Corpse raising, spirit control, that kind of thing. Ever heard of a ghost able to raise the dead and control them? I thought they were myths. Perhaps I was wrong. But we do our work. Come on. Let's break these chains. They told us to stay put for a few days, and we listened. When days turned to weeks, we made do. Now food's running low, and they've bolted the doors. We must act. Now! Before it's too late!
Impressive. for you. Don't fret. We're coming for you. This creature, I, I don't think I'm ready to face it. Turn back. Why? I, I don't know. I thought maybe I should see you. Whatever is down there. I feel something close.
feel an echo ringing, like a hum. Lay down your weapon, Prospector, and stand away. I'll not say it twice. Hear me! I'm not your foe! Obey the order! Put the pickaxe down! Your uniform won't protect your son! Your officer will bury us all! He'll bury us all! He'll bury us all. He meaning Pennington, right? Who else? This isn't over yet. That spectre's seen a corpse and it wants it for its own. Sebastian, what is this place? It's nothing. It's... It's only... The people were angry. And for good reason. Rebel camp. When they bring the food. The old ones scarper while the new ones are still busy with the victuals. While they have their hands full, we take them. Weapons, sabotage plans? Just how bad was the revolt? Not as bad as Pennington burying us all alive. That's no answer. All right, Sebastian, fess up. What's going on? What matters is that Pennington must pay. There is nothing else. What's this? A black market shopping list? Can't be. We had few rations. Many starved. Sebastian Priest, in the mine you were to tend to the sick. Instead, you afflicted them. What? No. This is a, a heinous lie. I gave my life for them. You turned into a tyrant until revolt emerged among the exhausted survivors. They, they, they must have gone mad down in the dark. Their, their rage found a target in me, the, the captain's man. I died innocent. I, I died a hero. 
You're a murdering coward. Blame Pennington all you want. We know tis a lie. I didn't. I, I never did that. It's not me. It's all a lie. I love Helen with all my heart. Pennington must pay. You must make Pennington pay for his crimes. You'll not get away with this, Sebastian. Come back here, you coward. I don't think he's coming back. Path is clear. We go deeper. More walled-off galleries. They were proper trapped down here. I can't believe Sebastian lied to us all. To Helen. Is this why the creature is angry? I would be. Perhaps. Sebastian wants Pennington to be punished at all costs, and I'm not sure why. Where are we now? Miners, left to die in sickness and starvation. Helen was right, this was an atrocity, but she blamed the wrong man. That's your face.
ghost may resonate here. One, two, one, two. Shite! I... I lost count there. Oh, there! Oh! God, why have you forsaken me? A lot of men were locked in here. Left to the pit when you're restrained by the fear of falling. Stopped by a wisp in Akashus. Never gonna let me live that one down, have you? The sight of them makes me wonder if their resistance was even worth it in the end. You're standing amidst their bodies with nothing but silence for your answer.
body. These must be Sebastian's remains. Curious. Priest said he was the last to die. Said he shot himself when hope ran out. That someone stove this fella's head in with a pike. This was no romantic suicide. This was bloody murder. Plus, there's no ghost tie. Look, the mark from before. No ghost tie. So why did he not pale and become a spectre like the rest? Sebastian told Helen a story. His prominent chest wound was part of it. But it's a fiction. He spun her a lie. I'm starting to doubt the lieutenant's ghost. I think it's an effigy of Sebastian sent to get close to Helen, maybe even to Pennington. Not a spectre, something more elaborate. But what and why? Sebastian is a doll, stuffed with stolen memory, made by whatever lurks down here. It's leeching Helen's essence. We must tell her. Whatever about Helen. First we need to find the doll maker.
They never learn, do they? We'll soon be out together. I suppose. I know the stink is long since gone, but I swear I smell it anyway. We're getting close. Someone's left us a fire camp to use. They left me here to rot. They'll not have me. These chains, an echo, I think.
I'm ready to shoot the infested roots. After you do that. Use the practice. requires a key. I sense the vivid echo of a ghost's memory. Sculpts down here, Pennington's presence gives it life. Another ghost. Rallying the wrath of lesser spectres to its cause. This is about the agony of Deborah Comenius. Aye, and the guilt of the people of New Eden. Can you see it? Not yet. I hear you. Pennington. 
We do. You're Deborah, right? Pennington had you arrested and clapped you in chains. A broken pub locked away. Forgotten, down in the dark, lift the heavy chains from her freely. If we do, will you talk with us? No chit chat then. Here it comes. See the weaker links. I can help. So close. Call on me, Red. The chains are coming undone. This is your chance. Overhead, the roof is crumbling. Down there. Her last strike. I can see the weaker links. Standing by. The chains are coming undone. This is your chance. Can 
I join in too? I can see the weapons. So close.
ciertas. I can see the weaker links. It's over. Go in peace. No peace. No pardon. Naught but darkness and decay. No. All this must stop and you must stop it. Dark decay and the maddest words of the worst of men. Whose words? Pennington's? When the maddening silence becomes the darkest night, the faintest voice is welcome as the dawn. Deborah. I've had enough minds for a lifetime. Can we go now? What was that thing? A puppeteer. Every dead thing we've met was controlled by its anguish. Sebastian especially. The miners were wronged, but Pennington's dereliction of Deborah is what caused all this. So what now? Helen's grip on power was already fragile when we found out that her husband was a spy. Is Pennington any more trustworthy? He let everyone suffer so he wouldn't have to face his own cruelty. Well, eventually, we'll get the take sides. <laughs> What is it? The rush after the fight. It'll pass. It's Sebastian, isn't it? You know I'm me, right? That I'm no puppet. Aye. Do you, though? Aye. My head may say different, but I know it in my heart.
fresh air. At last. You did well down there, young man. Thank you, Master. This is mutiny. It is justice. Justice long denied. Wait. Thought you'd been killed in the mines. Soon will all lie dead in the mines. Neither one more word, nor a move from you. The mines are cleansed of their madness. Which is more than I can say for this room. You banished the thing in a pit. Truly. It's gone. Aye. The puppeteer is no more. The siege is lifted. Don't get excited. You're still up to your neck and shite. You've still to answer for what you did, and what you did not. I do not answer to civilians, nor to mutineers. You will answer to the dead. Once a woman in chains cried out and you did not listen. This is why you're cursed. Confess. Your future, and the future of many, depends on it. I'll confess there is no future. I'll confess our led us here to make our final stand. And we still stand. To that, I'll confess, and claim the credit. We fall one by one. Then we weep, we rage, but we stay loyal and true. Even the widows must stay true. In fear you dither while folk die. Soldiers will not long stay loyal to a coward. I do not fear a future already written. The die is cast. I dither not. I hold. I hold and watch the end unfold. There's more to this than all the a deeper fear. You may be to blame for the tragedy in the mines, Pennington, or you may not. But the puppeteer wanted you dead. Some years back, you accused a local woman of witchcraft. You locked her up. The puppeteer was quite angry about that. Fairfax Haskell, too, played a part in the killing of Deborah Comenius. He faced up to his wrongs. Now you will face up to yours. At last the die stopped rolling and my number has come up. I'll tell it now. I'll tell it all. When you slandered her, you knew there'd be a witch hunt. Why'd you do it? There was no slander. It was true. She was corrupt. She was evil. And she was a school teacher. Someone had to think of the children. It's horse shit, but he seems to believe it. We're getting closer to the truth. You clapped her in irons and threw her in jail. You took her humanity. You recognized her in the puppeteer, didn't you? I'm sorry, puppeteer? That's what was in the mines, wasn't it? And you knew, didn't you? How long, for how long have you known? What I know and you do not would fill a library. Helen is misguided. Under Sebastian's malign influence, she will remain so. Yet Pennington is little better. Which way do you lean?
Though you and your pistol mean well, Mrs. Priest, you do not understand the power that guides you. Do what you must, and face the consequences. Cast the die. I will. All right. No more lies. No more hate. And no more mutiny. You mean well, but no good can come of it. The puppeteer sent the captain spectres. It also sent an unwitting assassin. You. Helen Priest. The ghost by your side is not your husband. It's a husk, a sham, an elaborate fake. Your beloved Lieutenant Priest was no hero. He was the tyrant. His victims dead in the mines tell the story. I am Sebastian Priest. I love my wife. I want her safe. You're a scarecrow. Built from Helen's idealized memories of the man she loved, then sent to trick her into mutiny. Without the puppeteer, the veneer will fade. Soon you'll be a spectre once more. I loved you. So... I'm not sure I understand what just happened. But you, Ellen Price, are under arrest. You're still a prick. For your trouble. Loving him, right or wrong, made me who I am. How much of you is made from loving your man? Probably not enough. 